So Jorge, uh, I don't know how to say, probably is the most important weekend of your life. First time you race a world championship at home, really at home, where you're born, uh, dealing with the pressure, dealing uh, with the pressure of losing the red plate in Portugal and mostly having all minutes of this weekend busy with something to do. So we said during the podcast that this was really like the final proof, not that you are a champion, we know that you are a champion, but to the fact that really you're able to deal with everything. Yeah, like, like you said, um, I mean, uh, Spanish GP, home GPs are always special, but this one is even more special because it's in my city. I grew up um, 15 minutes away from the racetrack, so I think you can't get any closer to that. And, and um, well, winning is so difficult. Um, and winning in your home GP in that, that race where you really want to win, it's even more difficult. So, um, no, it was a super weekend. The fans were crazy and... Um, like you said, I lost the red plate in Portugal and it looked good on the gas gas. <laughs> it was uh, an incredible tough race in Portugal. Uh, you probably didn't expect that everything went so badly. I mean, luckily you didn't injure nothing, so you were able to train during the weekend, uh, during the week, I mean, and coming here into the weekend in uh, a really good shape and ready to fight. 60 points is the third time during the season that you score 60 points out of six races. So it's something like special also because three times you've done yeah. perfectly. Yeah, um, it's incredible. I mean, every time I go out, I win. It's so satisfying. Yeah. I put a lot of uh, hard work during the week. I train a lot. Um, I improved from last year and it's something you can, you can see on paper. So, um, I mean, I'm having a great moment right now. The most important thing is just to stay injury free. Motocross it's a dangerous sport, so from one day to another everything can change. So uh, no, we gotta stay with the feet, with the feet on the ground and keep enjoying because I'm enjoying a lot of the races, the riding, and I'm like I said in a good form, so I gotta keep going. High five for the fifth victory out of six races, more than double than last year. That's something like numbers talk for you, and uh, those are like incredible numbers. Uh, the start of the second race uh, when the gate didn't drop. What were you thinking? Because then you, la you start last, you were 19 after the first intermediate, 13 after the second intermediate, something never seen. Yeah, I think when uh, I think when I crossed the finish line, when they stopped the race, I was eight already. So yes. From last to eight in one, one lap. lap, less than a lap, pretty much, because uh, I didn't pass the start. Uh, I think that's quick. And um, yeah, um, well, when I, I hit the gate, because it didn't came down, the first thing I thought is like, okay, get quick out of here. So I was quite, I react quite quick and go out and then I wait to my mechanic so, and the team so they maybe could go quick to FIM because, I mean, it's, yeah. the, the problem was not that I hit the gate. The, the, the thing was that they didn't fall. So um, I was like, come on. I was coming to the first one. I was like, come on, I'm going to lose now my home GP because of the gate didn't fell and... Um, yeah, I was just, okay, this is what it is, and we just need to try to keep going, and we got to try to make, uh, yeah, as many passes as possible. Uh, the thing was very dangerous, because this track has many jumps, and many jumps where you don't see the landing, so it was difficult, because with the people uh, going left and right, it was dangerous. So I was just trying to pass, but at the same time be safe. But yeah, I made so many passes, and when I saw that they stopped the race, Actually, my first thing was like, ah, oh, come on, now that I was passing so many people. But then I was like, no, probably it's better to restart the race and it's another chance to get a good start and make it happen. Anyway, probably you were ready to win also the second moto with that start. I, you never know, but I pass, yeah, from last to eight in less than a lap. So I think if I kept going like this, um, I, I, I would, I would say I could, I would say I could, um, I, yesterday in the quality race, okay, I didn't have to come from last, but from 4th, 5th, and I could manage to pass all the either like the good guys, let's say, good guys, they're all good guys, but the guys that are just behind me in the championship, I could pass them all and, and win, so I could do it again today. In past, well, <laughs> a little bit of party is normal. Yeah, but it's normal. It's, I mean, it's deserved. Uh, in past, every time you had a great result or you won a race, uh, 
you used to be really emotional and even to cry sometimes. What I think is beautiful, but I mean, now it doesn't happen even in a situation like that. Uh, what it means, you grow up, you now deal better with emotions. Yeah, I think I deal better with emotions. For me, every time I win, you know, it's just something in the heart. It's just something, the, all the hard work pays off and it just, so on Friday, I was just thinking, come on, I hopefully be on Sunday in the position I am right now. And it's like, so good. It's like going to sleep, relax, because you did your job. You did the best you could and, <clears throat> and everything went out well. And for me, the most important thing too is no injuries. So no crashes, no mistakes. I rode, I had fun on the bike and this was the most important thing out of the weekend. Plus I got a victory in the red plate, so I couldn't ask for more. Second moto Geyser was coming really close in one time. Uh, then you were pulling away a little bit the gap. Were you under control in that moment? Yeah, I so basically in the second moto because the track was so brutal, like the bumps were huge and it was so slippery. I just tried to manage uh, to be, let's say, in between like riding fast but safe. So when you ride fast, sometimes you are kind of more out of control, yeah, not out of control, but you're hitting more the limits and I didn't want to be in that position. So that's why I couldn't really pull off because I had, I was very conservative all the time. And cause I didn't want to make mistakes. The track was, like I said, very brutal. So I just wanted to stay on the bike and okay. When Geyser came close, I could maybe, you know, pull maybe half a lap and go like a bit harder. So make the gap just slightly bigger and I could control that gap. And I was just waiting for the last laps. If he was going to make attack, I would react and maybe let's say, um, yeah, not risk it, but speed up for the last part of the race. We were used to say that con consistency is the key in MXGP. It's probably now smartness that is the key. Thinking and always reacting, uh, looking at the track, looking at the situations. I mean, when you don't have the speed, when you don't have the fitness, you can't be smart. So when you have good stars and you are, you have the speed and you have the fitness, you can control things a little bit more. But still, Motocross, you start and you just wide open till the finish line. So yeah, you gotta think, but I mean, when you got when the people says yeah you gotta be smart and this, yes but we are racing we are racing and with racing everything can happen it can also be that you get together with another rider and and that you make a small mistake you're just avoiding those mistakes and just being fully in the moment and focus every time you are on the bike i saw you before uh, having a nice really nice you with your grandfather uh, the father of uh, Jesus, I guess, because they look exactly yes. the same. Yeah, yeah, same. <laughs> and you were sleeping at their home, I guess, yes. uh, during this uh, weekend. Did it give you the whole this? Week. The whole week? Yeah. This give you a kind of different serendipity, tranquility, and something like a little extra boost on this side. Well, I, I, I don't spend time here in, in Lugo, so I'm like, I'm not going to sleep in a hotel having the my grandparents here and it's a house where I spend a lot of time when I was a little kid every summer I would be there and sleep there for the whole summer so um, I just like it it's like my home it's really like my home so that's why I went there and I got the best food made by my grandmother and hopefully now for dinner we have a very good tortilla patata because that's uh, that's the, uh, the best the best in the world is doing it uh, well my grandmother is doing it so uh, yeah, so nice, so nice to be home. <laughs> good luck for the next incoming race. Thank you. And uh, yeah, good job. Thank you very much.